Okay, so raise your hand if you're juggling multiple different crypto wallets, have a bunch of random meme coins on different chains, or perhaps even have some ETH or staple coins generating yield for you in some DeFi protocols. Well, if that sounds like you, then chances are you've lost track of many of your coins and have forgotten where they even are. So obviously that's not ideal, right? Because you need to be on top of your portfolio in order to optimize it for maximum gains. But fortunately, I do have a tool for you that will organize and track your portfolio seamlessly. And with full disclosure, this is a sponsored video, but this tool is 100% free to use. So there's literally zero reason not to at least try them out. You see, most of us in crypto are on-chain degens these days, and we do all sorts of stuff on different chains. Maybe we've minted NFTs on one chain, farmed airdrops on another one, and bought meme coins on literally all of them. I mean, that's honestly quite the common scenario these days. But we're degens, so I bet most of us aren't really that organized. Like we just ape in and go for speed rather than carefully track it all. That's why I bet that most of us just lose track of the random smaller bets that we make. So what's the solution to this? Well, it's a free portfolio tracker tool called iYield. I promise you, it is way better than tracking your stuff on Excel or Google Sheets. And it's even more powerful than many of the other existing options out there. But instead of boring you to death by telling you why that is, let me just show you instead. Okie dokie, so I'm at iyield.com and the first thing we got to do is sign up for an account. So just click right here and you can sign up with email password, with social logins, which are really fast. But a really cool thing is that they let you sign up with your crypto wallet as well. And the beauty of that is that you can do it anonymously. They also have Binance login, by the way, but Everything with these Web3 login options are read-only access, right? So they don't get any private data from you. They're not a smart contract and they never ask you to sign any transactions. So the point is that the only data that they grab from it to show you is already publicly available information that you could get from like a block explorer, for example. The whole point of this is that the team behind iYield is a crypto native team. So they value things like anonymity and they never ask you for your name, your ID or your personal information. Now, you could also try without an account if you want, but I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so here is the main dashboard and there's a lot of stuff going on here, but it's actually really quite straightforward. It's a way to track your net worth and it also gives you things like your capital efficiency, your return on assets with incomes and so forth. So basically it's giving you a complete picture of not only your portfolio, but everything that goes into your net worth. So you can track both your fiat stuff and your crypto stuff together to get the full picture. And this is what other tracker tools are missing. There's really two sections to this, your wealth, which includes your assets and debts and your budget, which includes your income and expenses. So for example, your assets, I have ADA, I have some ETH, I have some validators that are generating income, I have some EtherFi liquid staking tokens, house savings account. This is just like experimental dummy data per se. And then let's say in debts, you have a student loan, you can put that here or like credit card debt, for example, you can also add that here to give you a complete picture. Now in terms of budget, you can see your savings rate per month, what all makes up that budget and your projected savings over time if things follow the current trajectory. Now your income, you can also add stuff like your monthly salary, of course, but also your income from staked ETH and other DeFi protocols. I'm going to show you more details about that in a bit. And then in terms of the expenses, it's your typical stuff, your bills and things like that, everything that's recurring. Okay, so let me show you how to add some new entries, okay? This is really, really cool. So you go to this add new up here and yeah, you can add these things like manually, but you can also add it by pasting your crypto address. Like this is just an example for you. Now it searches it and you're like, okay, it has some Matic, some Bat, some Mana, Poly, BNT and Tower. So let me just have it 
automatically add these for me, okay? Just click add, and boom, now they show up in my assets. Like bat, I have $10,000 worth, BNT. This is just an example. Now, another cool thing is, let's say you're doing some stuff on DeFi. Once again, go here, paste your crypto address, and look at all these things. Okay, this is definitely not me. I don't have a million dollars worth of Ether Fide Liquid ETH, but this is just an example, right? It has your liquid staking tokens, it has your pendle positions, Ether Fide positions. It automatically finds these for you. It's because iYield is integrated with like 40 plus different protocols and they're adding more as often as possible. So this is all integrated. You don't have to manually put this in. It just does it for you automatically. But let's say you do want to put some manual stuff in, right? You can add an asset. You can scroll all the way down to find. Okay, so these are all the fiat and now they have so many. They have thousands upon thousands of coins already here. So you can just find the one you want and like AI, for example, and let's say you have 10,000 of it and then you can name it AI coins, something like that, okay? And the currency, you can also change it to other, whatever. And then debt, it's pretty self-explanatory how much is owed. You can give it a name like car payment, loan, something like that. Annual interest rate, let's say 5%. How much is owed? 10,000, something like that, you know? And say fiat, it's a fiat debt. Income, monthly, weekly. Yeah, this is all self-explanatory. You don't need me to walk you through this. And then expense, also self-explanatory. But the cool part is you can just paste crypto address and it will search for you. But you know, kind of like a side feature that you can do with this, there's things called spaces. So if you have one for yourself, you can also add another one, like let's say experimental, it's empty right now. And then you add some whales crypto address to here and then it will search it for you and find all the relevant information so you can copy trade through this tool as well. You can use it to copy trade by doing that. But let me go back real quick and look at the staked ETH, okay? So it shows you the total value, the APY you're earning, and here's the cool part, history. This shows you the amount of staked ETH that is like auto accumulating and growing. And then the USD value of it in this blue dotted line. And this is from the point where you add it to your portfolio. So it doesn't show you like through all of history. It just shows you point at which you add it essentially. But this is a really cool feature that you can see how the value of income generating asset is changing and performing per se. But yeah, I mean, if we take a step back, I think you can get a feel for how powerful this approach and this tool is because you get a 360 degree view of your entire net worth and portfolio. It helps tie everything together to get you to your financial goals, right? You're not only taking a narrow view of your crypto activities, you're getting a view of everything and you won't ever lose track of it again. And it just makes it so much easier for you to have a grip on everything and know what you need to do to optimize it to get you to your financial goals. Okay, so I think you get the idea of why iYield is so useful and why you should start using it right now. It's quick and easy to set up and it's free, so you've got nothing to lose. I mean, there is a paid upgrade version, but honestly, y'all don't need those additional features. So you can just stick with the free version, which is plenty good enough. So if you are an on-chain degen, yield farmer, or meme coin hunter, this tool is for you. Go try it out today by using my link below.